In this video, we'll look at how to interpret two-way tables. In this particular example, it breaks down modes of transport for students going to school based on different year groups, in this case year 7 to year 9. Some of the most obvious questions are usually how many students are in a particular year group, or how many are using a particular mode of transport. So the first question is how many students are in year 9, and all we need to do is look at the column represented by year 9 and scan down that column and the total value is 35. A similar question might ask how many students walk to school. So what we do is we find where walk is in the table and we scan across that row and we can see that the total number of students who walk to school is 30. Now let's have a look at some questions that incorporate values within the table. This question is asking how many students are in year 7 and walk to school. Now the key word there is AND. The AND indicates that we're looking for students that fit both categories. In other words, they must be in Year 7 and they must also walk to school. And if we look at our table, we can scan down the Year 7 column and scan across the walk row and we can see that there are 11 students that fit both of those categories. So that's the number of students that are in Year 7 and walk to school. Now the next question is asking us how many students are in Year 9 or catch the bus to school. Now unless told otherwise we use the inclusive OR and that's the key part of this question. Now OR means it can be students that fit in one category or the other or both. So that means we look down the Year 9 column, see how many students are in that year group, which happens to be 35. And then we look for the number of students who catch the bus, which is 24. So we add those two numbers together, that's 35 and 24. But we have to take away 4. You'll notice that there's a 4 belonging to the Year 9 column and the bus row, and we don't want to count that number twice. So we have to subtract it from the total of 24 and 35. And that gives us 55 students who are in Year 9 or catch the bus to school. Now the next two questions are probability questions. And the first one is asking us if a student was selected at random, what is the probability it was a Year 9 student who walked to school? Now with probability, we need to consider all the possible outcomes, in this case, all the possible students. And there's 120 students in this particular table. Now of that 120, there are 14 who are Year 9 students who walked to school. They're the favorable outcomes. So the probability is 14 over 120. The second probability question has a slight variation. If we read this very carefully, it says a student from Year 7 was selected at random. So we've narrowed our choice down to just Year 7s, and this is what's called conditional probability. We've changed it from the entire group of students to just those in Year 7. So our probability is going to be out of 40. Now we're after the probability that they caught the bus to school, and if we look at the Year 7 column, we can see that there are four students who caught the bus. So that means the probability in this case is 4 out of 40. So when doing probability questions from a two-way table, we need to be aware of some of the words used, such as AND, OR, but also with probability we need to be mindful of the total number of outcomes. Sometimes it's out of the total for the table, which in this case is 120, but sometimes it's also written as a conditional probability. In other words, it narrows the group of students, in this case, to a smaller number. For more examples on some of the terminology used for conditional probability, we suggest you have a look at our video on the probability playlist, which focuses on conditional probability.